Coach. Hey, guys. Let's go. Uh, we didn't get to talk to you last week, so it's been a couple weeks. I know. Um, the defense is showing improvement every week. What, what is the, the, the biggest reason why the group has uh, been progressing? Well, I, I think it's I think it's two things. I mean, you know, the, one is there was a lot that was said early on about the continuity of a lot of the terminology and, and so on of, of me taking over for Coach Chiz. But the reality is that we had four guys in new roles coaching-wise. And, uh, you know, I think it took a little bit of time for – us as a group to know exactly what our guys were capable of handling in a given, in a given game week and uh, it took a little bit of time to sort out who the right 11 was to be out on the field and um, you know we've, we've kind of tinkered with it every week but I think uh, we're getting close to, to where we close to where we want to be not nearly there yet and uh, you know I think our guys are working incredibly hard I think you know no matter what's happened um, they come out to practice every day and work hard, and uh, that's a testament to them and, and the type of players they are and the type of character they have. And um, you know, hopefully, we continue to get better over the next five weeks. When you say the right eleven on the field, how much of that is up front, especially with the rotation? Because you guys do go four in, four out a lot of times. Yeah, part of that's with the rotation. Part of that's with the combination of, you know, is MJ better at corner? Is he better at nickel? Um, you know, the rotation at linebacker. Uh, we've kind of tinkered with all that, and, and sometimes we had to because of some injuries. And in other cases, you know, it was choices of, of getting the right guys on the field. What have you seen from Miles Wolfhark? The player that shows some flashes in every game he's <laughs> played, it seems. Yeah, and I think that's a great way to, to describe him. He showed some flashes. And there's some things that he needs to continue to, to work on and get better at. But uh, for a guy that really is playing in his first games, you know, he's at ODU was his first game of his college career. I think every week he's gotten a little bit better a little bit more confident, um, a little bit more assertive in terms of making all the calls and the checks. So, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, over the course of this year, going into his sophomore year, he feels very comfortable and, and confident in being one of the leaders of, of the secondary. What's holding you back from eliminating that one catastrophic play Ooh. that's been the issue in several, several weeks on the road? You know, I, I, it's a great question because, um, you know, in pretty much every game, even the ones that we felt like we played pretty good and there, there is that play there's different symptoms for it you know I, I've worked really hard with our staff on trying to find if there was one thing that it was and it really isn't one thing uh, you know it's it's our challenge is going to be able to be focused and play with the type of effort that eliminates that for four quarters you know it, it's a shame uh, because every game I feel like there's some similar storylines you come out of the game saying, "What well, dang, we played really good for, for 72 out of 73 plays, but that one play, and, we'll, and when it's a play that we give up, it's a big one, you know, and uh, a lot of times it's at an inopportune time, especially right now the margin of error for us as a team is so small. Um, you know, for us to get over the hump and, and get some wins, uh, we're going to have to eliminate that, and that means every detail of everything we do. It's how we, our effort, uh, it's how we coach, it's it's how we execute our assignment. That's the only way it's going to happen. Yeah. Coach Fedora's mentioned kind of the positivity the players have brought to practice throughout each week, given the record and the losses. Well, what have you seen, and what do you do as a coach to kind of you know, keep the team together and keep everything positive through these times? You know, I mean, the, really, truly, the message ha isn't that different now than if if we were having great success. Meaning, our goal every day when taking the practice field is to to improve and be the best player or the best coach that we can be. That would be true if we were sitting here at 6-1. and one. That doesn't change if you're not winning. Um, so every day our, our objective is to get a little bit better as a defense and for each individual to find something that they can improve upon in their game. For us as coaches, we try to be a little bit better every day in, in what we do. And if everyone continues to try to do that, uh, then we will ultimately get to where we want to be. I know that sounds cliche and even tiresome at times, but um, that's the reality. That's all we can do. Are Cole and Kaysen uh, playing their best football the last few weeks since you've been here? Yeah, I, th I think so. I mean, I, I've, I've been really impressed with Kaysen. Um, you know, he's a he's a, obviously a senior in his third year in a relatively similar system, and I think he's really settled down. I think he really kind of gets it now, and, and it's allowing him to play faster, more sideline to sideline, uses athleticism and skills, and he's done a nice job. Cole, I can't say enough good things about this guy. I mean, he, he plays every position we ask him to play. He's beat up. You know, they have to drag him off the field every week. Um, but he keeps coming out and doing his thing. And, uh, 
you know, there's a lot to be said for, for a guy with that kind of toughness and that kind of leadership. You can see on J.K. Brett, obviously, got, he got a second start last week, or first start first last start week. First start last week. You know, he did some good things. You know, I mean, you know, it sucks to not have Donnie yeah. with us. Uh, he was a, not only a good player, but he was a captain. But I thought J.K. Um, really stepped in and did some, some really good things. Um, you know, there's, I think, some jitters early on in the game for him in his first start. But as the game went on, I thought he, thought he did some good things for us. Thank you.